Words like luxury and expensive, they can mean different things to different people. In the modern era, a timepiece is no longer a basic necessity. In the world of wristwatches, even the most affordable can be viewed as a luxury item. That said, in the first episode of this ongoing series of videos, we're going to explore luxury watches priced in the tens and even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hello, I'm Guy, and with the help of my friends at the Naples, Florida-based watch dealer Exquisite Timepieces, I'm going to share with you a selection of three luxury watches from their amazing inventory that you have to see to believe. $285,000. That is a lot of money, I think, by anyone's definition of the word. This is the very rare Parmigiani Florier Bugatti Supersport, and yes, you heard me right, that is the price. The Bugatti Supersport is designed to evoke the image of its namesake and the car after which it's inspired by. With the long, sweeping arcs of the case, it does feature the same aggressive elegance as the Bugatti Supercar. This watch was produced in 2010, limited to just 30 pieces, and was launched on the wrist of a Bugatti driver who crossed the finish line with a top speed of just over 267 miles per hour, becoming the fastest watch in the world. This watch features some world firsts in watchmaking. As can be seen through the sapphire crystal display windows on the case, the movement uses pinions and bevel gearing, allowing the time setting system to operate at a 90 degree angle with the dial positioned perpendicular to the movement's axis. This feature was accomplished by using ideas and components that are quite common in the automotive sector, but never used in watchmaking. While perhaps not to everyone's taste, the design, style, and aesthetic of this timepiece is of a complexity rarely seen in watchmaking. It has lines intended to reproduce the body of the Bugatti supercar with tapered surfaces and chamfers that come to life in the light. The iconic teardrop lug design is a stylistic signature for the watch. Visible from multiple angles, the intricacies of the finishing of the movement is a sight to see. The 10-day power reserve complication, visible from the top of the watch, keeps you aware of the amount of power stored in the mainspring barrel. Just below that, you see the watch's beating escapement and the balance wheel. The display windows from the side and the bottom give more views of the impressive design and the engineering found within this watch. Thanks to the elegant curves of the case and the lugs, this watch wears on the wrist nicely, with a bold and attention-grabbing stature. The face of the watch sits on the side of your wrist pointing towards your eyes in a manner making the watch readable even when the hand is on the steering wheel of your Bugatti Supersport as you drive down the street or around the racetrack. At $31,500, the 18 karat gold Rolex Daydate on President Bracelet comes in at just a fraction of the price of the previous watch, but in my opinion is no less impressive. The Rolex Daydate is a beloved luxury watch that has been worn by everyone from politicians to celebrities and professional athletes around the world. Renowned golfer Jack Nicholas. His own personal Rolex Daydate is said to be going up for auction with the proceeds going to a charitable organization for children's health. The Rolex Daydate launched in 1956 and it was the first watch to include the day of the week written in full across the top of the watch face with a date window at the 3 o'clock position. The other distinguishing hallmark of this watch is of course the classic President bracelet, a bracelet with a nearly perfect blend of both style and comfort on the wrist. Now it's available in a number of precious metal cases and bracelet finishes and with an assortment of different dial configurations. I think most would agree, however, that the example we have here with the Roman numerals and a white dial in yellow gold is one of the most iconic models. Others might argue that a champagne colored dial is the true king of Daydate watches, but one thing's certain, they're both outstanding. The modern Rolex Daydate is available in a 36mm case diameter like the model we have here today, or 40mm for a gentleman with a larger wrist or with a preference towards a watch with more wrist presence. Now I certainly prefer this 36mm diameter Rolex Oyster case, but you can't go wrong with either. A discussion of the technology behind this watch can't be covered in a short presentation like this, but suffice to say, Rolex produces some of the highest level products backed by entirely in-house science and engineering. When a timepiece like this is completely designed and assembled under one roof and at the quantities that they can produce, it's impressive to see that the overall level of quality is rarely compromised. It's obvious why the Rolex Daydate is one of the flagship models for the brand, and it's a watch everyone should get a chance to experience once in their lives. 
Sometimes a watch is more than the sum of its parts. It's more than just a tool to tell time. And that's the case with this H. Mosier Endeavor Center Seconds Blue Lagoon. At just $22,000, it's the most affordable of the three watches that we've looked at today, but set in a beautiful 18 karat rose gold case with sunburst Blue Lagoon dial, it's as much a work of art as it is a timepiece, and perhaps the most stunning of the watches on today's show. As a Mosier concept version, the dial is unadorned with logos or indices. You're meant to just get lost in the sunburst pattern of the dial as it transitions from shades of blue to green, like the water off the shores of a tropical paradise. Like the Bugatti Supersport watch, this timepiece is also exclusively limited, with only 50 total pieces in production. These watches are rare. They're meant to appeal to the watch collector and connoisseur looking for something unlike what you might find on another person's wrist. The movement running this watch is the Mosier HMC 200 automatic caliber, a 21 joule automatic winding movement with a three day power reserve beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. Manufactured completely in-house, each and every watch is built and finished by hand by the watchmakers and artisans at H. Mosier and has both a heritage and history that goes back to the early 1800s. The gold leaf handset is high polished and faceted and does nothing to detract from the elegance of the dial of the watch. The case comes in at 40 millimeters in diameter and alternates between smooth brushed and high polished surfaces. The watch rides on a hand stitched brown alligator leather strap with matching gold pin buckle featuring the H Mosier signature. It's a truly impressive and equally rare watch that you're unlikely to see on a wrist out in the world, but one that I'm happy to have had the opportunity to share here with you guys today. Thanks for joining me and for viewing the first episode of an ongoing series of videos where I explore some of the most expensive, exclusive, and impressive luxury watches in the world. Now a big thanks to Exquisite Timepieces here in Naples, Florida, for giving me access to their amazing inventory of watches. Please visit their website, exquisitetimepieces.com, and let them know that you heard about their store from Guy here on the Just Blue Fish Watch Review channel. That's gonna wrap this video up for today. So until the next episode, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and say bye now. <laughs>